Hello and welcome vegan savages to another episode of the Vegans podcast, the most spontaneous episode ever and the most realest for sure because Axel and I were having like our first bad tempeh and I was like Axel Why do you call it bad tempeh? Because we are vegan, you cannot call it beef. Ah. Mm. I was like Axel, there is something between us in the air. How about we jump on a podcast and talk about it there? And that's what we do. And we honestly haven't talked about it before. So we're gonna solve that now. And you see that we're both <laughs> humans. And um, hopefully you can learn from our mistakes that something like that doesn't happen too often. So Axel, why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> because you suck. It's actually funny because me and Mr. Schmunky, or Mr. Schmunky and me, Mr. Schmunky and I, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, we had kind of the same thing like last week and we made a rule every single time when we when we it's only funny in german um reibung what's the english word for reibung do you know what i mean mm -hmm. when there's tension yeah we solve the problem afterwards like it always ends with reibung got it yeah but reibung most people don't understand german like the, when there is tension When there is tension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not funny in English. Anyways, we have the rule that we... We have two rules. Rule number one, we never leave the door with hating each other or like in a, in a bad mood. Bad that mood. there's something between you yeah. what keeps you occupied, your head. Yeah, you even, it doesn't that? mean that, we, like, that, that you can't leave. Like if you want to leave, if you want to have your own time, fine. But let's... Talk about it first. Let's let's Yeah, let's talk about it and... If you don't want to talk about it now, let's not like hate each other yeah, yeah. because we don't hate each other. I want to have the same rule. Yeah, let's have the, yeah. Because I, we, that be between us is now happening. It started uh, when you arrived in the gym, now afterwards. So it's, it's like a long time and I don't want to ever that that happens again, that we immediately like what's wrong. Like when mm -hmm. I approach you in the gym, but you said everything is fine, but then you still weren't fine. So, so let me know why you hate me. I don't hate you. I never. No, I don't hate then, you. Then what is the issue? So I arrived, right? Yeah. And you were. So you, I've never seen you so angry. I've really never seen you so pissed. It reminded me kind of like. It looked like a really disappointed face. I'm like, what? And I know about myself that I have to be more on time. So there are some some moments like if i have to be on time like if otherwise like for a flight or something i you i'm usually on time and i know that like it will it would upset me if there is like a, a meeting like a real meeting and you other people would suffer if like if i wouldn't show up on time then i'm on time but i still know that they're like if if i have appointments like let's go to the gym then i'm sometimes prioritizing other stuff like first like this morning i wanted wanted to finish um an edit for my documentary it was more important to me than being on time mm -hmm. so i told you i'm gonna be uh, i will arrive instead of like 8 45 at 9 but i arrived at 9 7 9 9 <laughs> <laughs> okay 9 9 so i arrived at 9 9 and i saw this angry face i'm like why what And I mean, I can totally understand you that it um, that it pisses you off that I'm late. But I'm like, okay, is it really that bad that you're like so angry now? And then the stupid moment comes in because I was in a good mood when I arrived. I was super happy on my bicycle, vlogging. T -t 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 -t. I arrived in a sort of face. And it was kind of reminded me of my father when I did something wrong. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, what's going on? And I was like talking two, three sentences. I'm like, okay, he's literally so angry because I'm like eight minutes late. Wow. Okay. Can I say something? Yeah, well, of course. Okay. Here's the, here's the deal. I unconditionally love you and I want to work on your, that you're more punctual. Mm -hmm. So um, when you come late, For, for here, no, no problem. When you texted me, I was like, no problem, because I'm here, I can work. But then, the 8.45, I was like, the door is ringing. Wow, Axel is on time. I open it. I'm <laughs> Wait, I'm naked in my underwear. And who's there? Ramon. So you invited a friend without telling me. And all of a sudden, I was like, okay, now 
while I wait for you, I cannot work. I have to socialize. And thus I had to wait, literally wait, because I couldn't work. I couldn't do my things. And you didn't let me know that he's coming. And that is something I, I didn't like at all, that you invited someone without telling me he comes on time and then we wait over 20 minutes for you and like like ah, so okay, and then no, and then and then i was like okay i could be i could be nice but i want you i want to let you know because i want to work on your weaknesses it's about that we help each other in the areas we're not good at that you're more functional you're more organized because i'm really good at this and i want to improve you so that's why when you came in the first thing i said i don't like that you're not on time but then immediately after that i was in a happy mood i was chatting to ramon i was chatting to you and then i realized you're not in a good mood. I was just the first sentence I said. That's why I was that was so strong because I want to let you know that was bothering me. But just that, that, that you work on that, that you see it means something to me. But I immediately switched back to being happy, and I was like, "Oh shit, he's not catching up. He's like a weird mood between us." And I was like, "I didn't want to tell you in front of Ramon, but that's something. Please, please don't do that anymore. I did that way back." in the past and I stopped it because now I know how bad it feels for the other person that you like there is something but you don't talk about it but you act weird and that is something I really don't do anymore at all because I know how how bad it feels for the other person because it's like yeah I'm fine but you're obviously not fine and there is something and all the time that that passes it's like not that not that nice you know yeah, yeah. and that's why from now on please please always immediately let, let us talk about it. Like when I went to you in the gym, like, hey, is, are, you, are you good, bro? And you, you were like looking in your eye for a long time and we were like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm smiling. I was like, okay, who? he's good. But then you weren't good. So please, always, let's talk about from the beginning. And there was the thing where I met, where I was mad, but just I wanted to let you know that you, that you work on that. That like, okay, if you invite someone, then I will be on time. You know, when you're not at time, when I'm at home, no worries because I can work. But when we meet somewhere or when you invite someone else, then it's like, please be on time because that is something that is important to me. And we both love each other. So, and we should, we should help each other. So I just want to help you, you know, like yesterday you were working there and I filmed you and I still want to show you that because your posture got really bad and I wanted to tell you like hey let's work on your posture because I love you I see your flaws uh, and I want to work on them that, that you become a better human being and when you see flaws I have for example a big one that I always think I'm right like today I, I, that was shitty for me like uh, we, we had this conversation and you were right and I was like insisting of it and I'm, I'm happy you pointed out all the time so I can work on that and I'm thankful you do that that shows me you care about me that we work on each other's flaws so I just, when I'm like, when you come in and I said like, you're too late, I don't like it in a serious voice, that was like reminding you, hey, that is something I really don't like, please work on that. And like when you say nine, for example, then please make sure to be there at nine. Like, yes, I was at home, but you know, someone, someone else was here. So you, you get that? Yeah. With Ramon? And yeah. Uh, well, first of all, you, like, I didn't, there is, now it's something completely different. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, I, okay. but like, I'm a big fan of communication. Yes. A, no, but not in the gym because I'm working out. While I'm working out, I'm working out and not talking. But the, the rule I want to establish that we immediately, I'm immediately talk about it. That, that there, you know, all the time that passes isn't the time I enjoy so much. And we're all human. Do time you, is limited. And I want to enjoy time. I told the Scorpio mind so many times, if there's something, let, let's talk about it immediately because I want to enjoy, and, enjoy time fully and don't, boggle around like oh what did I do wrong this and that then my head is gone and I don't enjoy the time so immediately please let's make the rule immediately if there is something if we feel it immediately talk about it and get it out if you want to do it yeah okay if no if you want to do it if you want to say I want to take time and like self-reflect and then do that like no I immediately want to talk no about if it. I'm at the gym and you annoy me in the gym I'm not going to talk to talk about it in the gym because I'm in the gym if like but it's like it was a D-Low training. We were basically doing nothing. So, but I was listening to a, like, no seriously. I was I was listening to a book, and while I'm listening to the book I, and training, I want to train and like literally, I don't want to talk. But then about even it. better before the gym when we yeah, were walking before, to the gym. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. You know, you also know that I'm a big fan of that. I just like when I saw it, I'm like, okay, this is really like I've never seen you so angry. What is going on? And now I can understand because it's not about me being too late. It's about another human who was involved. 
I thought maybe I just forgot it to tell you that he's coming yesterday. I thought I told you. Mm -mm. I, obviously, I didn't make it clear. Um, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that. And um, yeah. And no worries about it. But now you understand my situation. But I would love that you acted like I did. When you came in, I said to you what I didn't like. And I immediately went back to, hey, I love you. Let's vlog. Let's have fun. Really? But then... I immediately went back, like I chatted What? to Ramon, I had it fun. I went out, I vlogged and I was like, when I addressed you in the vlog, I was like, oh no, this energy is still weird. And I was like, that reminded me of my old self because I used to be like that, acting weird to my friends and like, oh no, everything is fine and having this energy. And then I got it back a couple of times and I knew how horrible that feeling is. Like, what did I do wrong, this and that. And that's why I never do that again, that immediately I'm nice, I'm positive, and I want to talk about it. And even though we didn't talk about it, I'm totally not focusing about it, but being happy, focusing on the good things and loving and don't have this weird relationship where I'm like weird, but I don't talk about it, you know? And you did that. I just, I just have like the first time when you talked about it to me again was in the vlog. And I have one rule in my life. Like I always share my truth and I'm not gonna like if there is something bad between us, you're gonna see it in the vlog. You're gonna see it in front of the camera. I, I, I will never ever play a role and then I'm like, okay, if you don't, you were really rude to me. You were not like, you, you can talk to people and tell them, hey, that's the thing I don't like about you. Could you work on it? That's one thing. But like coming out and I'm asking them, like, how are you? That's what was my first question. Before I want to say like, I'm sorry for being late because you know I really am and I, I say it. You were say you were like a really, really rude. And you're right with like telling it like complete 100%. Just like in a nice way. And you don't have a clue what happened to me in the morning. What happened? Uh, nothing what belongs to this podcast. The point is. Maybe something happened. Maybe not. And you're standing there like judging, looking at me as uh, if I would like nothing really bad happened. You didn't miss a flight. No one died. Everyone has food and water. I was just nine minutes late. And someone, and, uh, and someone else was here and I didn't communicate it. I thought I did, but obviously I didn't. That's the bad thing. But is it really that bad? And I, I totally agree. Communication is freaking key and and i love that we are sitting here and now talking about it because now i i get no i get it no it's not only the nine minutes but also another person and especially without like telling you um yeah i'm sorry for that i really am and i totally uh, accept that um and i didn't um uh um noticed that you thought it is so rude because i thought i wasn't so angry or rude because all i said was you came in i said you're late i don't like that because i wanted to make the statement and how would you like that i tell you something serious other than that well you just say humans communicate in many different ways like you can say you are late and you can say you are late And you can, your facial impression, you communicate with many different things. And I saw anger, not like, bro. It was disappointment. Dis yeah, I saw disappointment, anger, and... I, have, I had no anger. Yeah, okay. That's what I saw. Okay. I don't know if you... I, I just had a serious face. Like, why should I smile, you know? But I wasn't like, like frowning or something. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could. I, 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 I just talked about it in a podcast episode. Like, I'm happy, like... 97% of the time, if something, if I get like sad or like in a weird mood, it's always human relationships with people who mean a lot to me. It's always like that. And I'm super, hmm, I don't want to, I have a problem with that, with like when people are disappointed because of my behavior. And that was in this moment, I'm like, okay, is it really that bad? And that's, that's why I'm like, okay, I just um, have to think about it. And now I just want to, I, I just want to train and get the training done and then see how it works. And I know I, it will never, ever ruin my day. Maybe like some hours, 
but that's I think it's learning and now we're sitting here and I feel way better um, I'm, I don't I'm, I'm a little bit angry because no one is appreciating my socks I'm and that's it <laughs> Um, and that's the thing talking about it you immediately you're relieved and that's why I want that's why I have this um, This rule with all my other friends that we immediately talk about it But my other friends they're like all like on a mature level that we don't have this weird thing between us But we immediately talk about it So please let us also establish now this rule that we immediately talk about it that we're like hey what's going on? Okay, I understand you uh, your side and I do and you understand my side now because you didn't know and we understand each other and that at the end we love us, we care about each other and we want to help us work on our flaws or see what for the other person is important that we work on that, you know? So that, that I really care about you. That's why, that's why I want to work on your timing organization. Yeah, but uh, you also have to remember, like, I really appreciate that. And I did, I, I'm the same kind of person. But I always remember, like, relationship taught me that like i have to go two steps back i can tell someone but it's not my not my but it's also mis- yeah you know I what understand. i mean I you can understand, be but it's you can also be about some respecting two- me because something that is really important for me is is being punctual mm-hmm. especially if i'm not at home but somewhere else that i'm literally waiting for you being punctual is something that's really important and um, you're just coming late really often and often you have good excuses, okay? But it's really often and I'm like, hey, that, that is something that is important to me. And I, I want to be like, okay, I come at, uh, uh, we, we meet for a time and then I come at the time and then I'm like, oh, should I come late because I know he will come late? I hate <laughs> yeah. that. And with my other friends, it's like we play ping pong at the time and we actually all be there at that time and I'm mostly a couple minutes even earlier. And I want to keep that and not like, okay, I, I come even later because I know they will come later and then it's even later, later, later. And then he, I, I hate that. And fr- friends like that, I often ditched because they didn't respect me. They didn't show up and they over and over. And I was like, okay, do you even care about me? So that's why it's also about respecting that, hey, that is something that is important to me. And um, like when I'm at home, the other times you were o- o- often too late and I didn't mind at all because I could work. But if someone else is here, uninvited i'm like standing there in my underwear i'm like yo axel is there i'm like ready to vlog and then someone completely else is there i'm like okay come come in and okay now we talk. yeah yeah but no you got that like i i thought i talked about you yesterday but uh, yeah you forgot was, and that's human that's no what, i don't uh, anyway no no you didn't, I didn't make you it didn't, clear no but you didn't told me that all, at all that he's coming at all you said like a, a nine minute a nine second uh, voice message where hey just in short, I'm coming at 8.45, coffee and gym. That's all you said. Ah, no, we would... Anyways, it doesn't really matter. We were staying there and I, t- I uh, explained everything to you. That he's coming and I even asked you, can we record the podcast here? But, that, but you didn't tell me that like he's co- coming before the gym. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I didn't make it clear. I said... That yeah, yeah, so, so I, I couldn't know it, at all. It's the past. Anyways... Um, but you I understand would, me now, right? I, I do understand that it bothers you, but yeah. It's and, just and like, t- let's talk about it. But let's not forget that we are friends and that it can happen again that I'm late. Yeah. It, it will happen and again. And how should I approach you the next time? Because just, you know what? Without talking, I know that you don't like it. And I, I tell you, I'm sorry about it. I was not just not strong enough to, to handle this. Like someone who loves me looking into my eyes with like i freaking hate you i want to kill you that's, that's yeah no, no that's okay. how i okay. no 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 i'm totally exaggerating, exaggerating here but that's how i felt in this moment i'm like what the heck that's like my ex-girlfriend <laughs> when i annoyed her um no but but i got the point and it's really really so how should i tell you something when something it's important to me and serious. How just, should I approach you the next time? Just say it. That, that, that share your true, but share I, your true like feelings. But I did exactly. You're too late. I don't like no, it. No, I, I ask you. Yeah. How are you? I can literally tell you the words you used. How are you? And I said. You said good. Bes- besides the fact that you're way too late. Oh, okay. Do 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 do. not stop. If anyone walks over there, looks at me, the angriest face. You said nothing at all. You didn't talk. You did, that was all you said. Not like, bro, I'm like, can you please be on time? 
Okay, so that's how I should talk to you. I, I, when I when I'm not on time, I feel bad, or like I'm, I'm I I can say I'm sorry. I just had other priorities. I I told you in the morning I didn't feel bad. Like I wouldn't feel bad if you would just go and train and say like I'm at the gym because I never wait for people. If you tell me, I mean you've been late too, right? Yeah. Not as my, no no no. I'm don't get me wrong. I'm not yeah, trying to of judge course. you. No, but it happened. Yeah. For me, just like personally. I don't wait. I have like 10 minutes. I feel like, oh, 10 minutes more. I can do this and that. That's probably the reason why I don't have the biggest problem with like being late because I don't think like uh, they have, I don't say I respect you. No, I, I, I get better and better and better. And sometimes I'm even too early. And if you would tell that people, it was like, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, I can, I can totally do it because when it comes to business, for example, I'm always on time. So it should be possible that I, I can do it um, besides that. But if I'm if you have to wait more than five minutes, just just go, we, we meet at the gym, if it's possible. Yeah. But you know, because uh, yeah, someone yeah. arrived. That, 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 that was the main reason I was like, oh, because otherwise I could work, no problem. But all I want to know is how do I approach you? But now I know because to my other friends, I, I, I talk like that, like one sentence, they know it. And then boom, switching immediately. Like I just be serious for this one sentence and I don't want to like make a bit big fuss about it. So I want to let them know and then immediately be switch back to, to having fun because they know it. But I didn't know that you would take it that way that you like uh, interpret into my into my just just serious face that I'm like angry or something. I just wanted to let you know, look like that, that, that you know that I'm serious, that you know, okay, and don't make a big fuss about it, talk about it forever. But now that I know, I um, talk to you like way more... Um, respectful. That's that, my definition. For okay, respect, but, but I, I did, 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 okay, um, yeah, if you just think it wasn't respectful, then... Uh, I, I, I approach you next time differently if I want to tell you something seriously. I didn't know that you were uh, like I'm interpreting an so much. Guy. Okay. <laughs> no, when, seriously, when it comes to friends or family and someone is behaving like someone died, that's like, what? What, what happens if really something bad happens? Okay. You I, know what I mean? That's what was in my head. Like, yeah, what? but but the question is, did I behave like someone died because I was just serious, talking in a serious voice, and you were interpreting all that in that I was like angry, that I was like hating you, and I had none of these emotions. I wanted to just get this point across in a serious way, and if I would be like laughing, like oh, he's the light huh? that would be like okay, you that, that, that wouldn't be like. Uh, wouldn't make it clear that it's important to me. So anyways, next time I, I, I approach you different when it comes to that. And um, yeah, that's just things that I'm, I want to help you, but I don't want to like change your life for things that I think that would improve your life. But it, it, it also comes about uh, to respecting other people when it's like when you're forgetting stuff, it's and, and you, you, you don't like it that I want to help you in that, I don't care, that then, then forget your stuff, then don't be organized, I don't care, it doesn't impact my life at all, it just would make your life easier and I'm good at this, so I think I could help you. But in things like when it comes to my time, like being punctual and waiting, not at home, but somewhere else, then, and, and like I'm waiting for you to go, then it's something that also is respect and I want you to respect me in, in these things. But yeah, let's always, always, always honest communication about everything. If you don't like it that I tell you in things how I think you could improve, then let me know and I don't do it. And I want that we respect each other. And if something is bothering us in the slightest, let's always communicate that. And everyone should do that because this feeling when there's something between us, everyone has experienced that. And that doesn't feel good at all. And all the time that passes, you lose so much headspace, worrying, making assumptions, which are most likely not true. And you lose it. You never get the time back. So that's and, and time is the most important asset we have. We never yeah, get it back. True. So that's why always immediately like you feel it. Hey, what's wrong? Are you good? Like, is, is there something you want to tell me? Immediately talk about, be honest, respectful and understanding. See where the other person is coming from. Don't think like you're always right. And I, I need to work on that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're right. And I, I like it. And, in and the mo but in the moment, I feel, tell me, please, if I'm wrong. I feel like I don't have to tell you. Like, I don't feel like... How can I approach you in the moment where you think you're right? that I, I i i right now i have the wrong approach i always say this like i'm you're right and i'm 
you're just right even though i know like for fact ah yeah that's something i also don't like yeah i i, I because fi- that I is like that, that, that is like yeah you hear that you that that i actually know that i'm right but i'm saying you're right just so that you it's like you're above me and i'm like let's talk let's have a conversation because no one of us maybe knows 400 percent. so let's see what are your facts what are mine then we google it and find out like that or just <laughs> or just tell me oh it really doesn't matter to me i don't care or let's talk about it later but don't i i don't like it when you say like this yeah you know what you're right you're right yeah. that is like for me you, you know how it feels when someone does that yeah okay. that just feels okay just shut up yeah I know, that's and, literally what <laughs> yeah and and it doesn't feel good yeah so i, I, I would appreciate if you don't don't do that yeah, yeah and yeah, also don't call me dick face i don't like <laughs> and I, I i honestly would stop that because i also think other people because he said it to like everyone and what you no 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 yeah no yeah it's exaggerated to too many people no i mean to friends like but i i i really don't like that word i don't know why yeah but, but that's your personal I, exactly and I, now i'm making assumptions you're right but i don't know i'm just calling people nice things it's so much nicer, you know, because some people, even if you say it in a nice way, for me, the word just has a bad aftertaste, like dick face. I'm like, so, but that's just me. Just don't say it to me and I'm good. Okay. But um, that's why I stopped, you know, also with my friends. I, I, I said so many things and I reconsidered them. Like, for example, for example, gay, like with my friends, with my German friends, when we speak German, I said way back then, like a year ago, gay all the time to things that are bad. And then I was like, people were telling me and I was like, yeah, that's right. Why do I say gay? Meaning it's something bad. It doesn't make sense at all because gay is something that is not bad at all. So I stopped that. I stopped saying, oh, that is gay for something negative. Because, the, uh, yeah, even though my attentions were never vicious against gay people, but that's how it sounds like just by the word, you know? So that's why I focus more on positive words now. And people who are listening now, I'm, I'm not saying it all the time. No, no, it no, not like all the time. Once, not once to, per week. Not to strangers, to, and to not friends. Only to friends. So, yeah. To, to, to like, a couple uh, of friends. Yeah. yeah to, who I'm really close with. Like, yeah. I don't mind if someone says it to okay. me or like. Oh. Yeah, just. Uh, but it's all right that you let us know that yeah. you and, don't and like you know, it. Yeah, and you know, that is another thing. I want to let you know that. I want to let you know that in a nice way, you know, that you. Hey, I don't want to be called it, and maybe other people don't want to call it as well. But don't take it as something bad that I want to judge you or think that's wrong. Just that's yeah. my opinion, and I want to know to help you. You know, like, uh, and that's that's what is so important about friends that we actually don't tell each other, "Yeah, you're so cool, uh, you have so many followers." This only the 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 oh the, the 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 obvious stuff, but also pointing out the flaws where I can work on. And when friends do that, I know, oh, these are real friends. They care about me. They want to improve my flaws. And if I do the same for you, then please don't see it in a way where I judge you or anything bad, but that I want to help you. And if you don't want to be helped in whichever area, just tell me and I, I stop. But I just want to help you. For example, one of the most important um, things Julian, an old friend of me, told me, let people talk out and don't just interrupt and and I, I observed myself and I did it all the time. And now I do it rarely. And that was such an important life lesson. And he could be like, oh, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't really care about him. But he cared about me. And I took it as, oh, yeah, I actually want to improve because we all want to improve. So, yeah, I want to, if I say something about, I think, about things where you could improve, then see them from a place from love. And if you don't want that, I give you any thoughts about that then just let me know like hey leave me alone with that organization bullshit i i live my own life then i'm okay then i, I but it's all coming from a place from love you know I it's know. all about helping always, always, and not only for you like for all the people like uh, for example me like this morning i tried my best to be on time i always try my best like i was driving like crazy on the bicycle just to not be too late but still i came in you don't you don't even know what could, so many things could happen right but your ego was bigger than like oh maybe something happened yeah i didn't thought about that it, it was just like that you invited you know that that was the whole thing that was in my head like you invited someone and it's like 
you know, nowadays it's like when someone is calling you, it's like a, a stranger knocks on your door. It's like often you text before you call someone. And if someone actually shows up, uh, someone at your door and you don't know, it's like really, you know, this per you're in your underwear, you're like, yeah, uh, yeah, and, and then you I open the door you. and someone just walks in your home, you're naked, and I thought it's you and it's someone else. <laughs> that just what, like, that, that just gave me so like this. Co feel co comfortable uh, naked in front of me? Yeah, in yeah. Uh, totally. Um, but in Ramona, I, I didn't know, but. Um, Wait, I need to re-record. Um, so, are we good? Yeah, we're good. And you see, because Im let's please establish this rule. Let's immediately talk about it because every only yeah, I agree. Not if we are in the gym. Not if I have. Not if I'm at church. That's the two things. No, but it, it couldn't happen if you're in church when because no, it, it happens. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, in the gym, I just want to train and not talk about. But, but in in then before we train, it, then it could. It, yeah, it's pretty unlikely that it happens in the gym. It happened in the gym. No, it happened this morning. No, no, no. I mean, like it happened before in the gym at Wanderlust, like. But it was like this close. It's also ah, like, where I told you. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, where I told you told something me. about programming, and you like, oh, don't interfere in my training. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, okay. we are at the gym, like. Okay. Whoa. But just that you know. <laughs> Anyways, just that you know, you can interrupt my training because that is for me the most important thing. Because then my training is like thinking about it, and I really want it out mm. of the way. My life, my time is so precious, and I'm currently I'm so happy. Like yesterday when you left, I was I, I hardly could handle my happiness. I was like, we had such good vlogs the last two days. I have so much fun with you. I know that we will travel so much this year and that made me so happy knowing that I will go to Diesel Automatic making music. I was like, I couldn't handle my happiness. I was like, I have the best life ever. And that's how I love to feel. And then when something like that happens, all my headspace is like, there's a big cloud over it and that occupies me and the happiness cannot shine through and I don't like that state of well, being so really I want to interesting to know I want to get it out immediately like immediately talk about it that I can who okay he's, he's good or or that that was bothering him because I'm, I'm overthinking everything I'm, I'm like making assumptions oh shit oh maybe it was this back then but and bro I can handle that no I mean like I can handle talking about it in the moment but I also know people they they don't want that like they want their time okay. and that and that's fine Okay, that's not me. Like, I'm in the gym. Mm -hmm. I don't have these overthinking things. I'm like, okay, don't, don't bother me. I'm in my training. I'm in my zone. I don't think a second about it. Only if people, like, would interrupt me. I'm listening to my book. I'm listening to music. They're like, do you know what I mean? Like, I can handle it without mm -hmm. overthinking, without feeling so bad. Maybe I'm, people see it. People feel it because... I'm usually so energized, so happy. Mm -hmm. So they feel immediately if something is wrong with me. You can smell it in the air. But still, like, some, I just want to, like, some people, they need their space. I don't need it. If I need it, I tell you. But I think it's, it's, it's fine. Like, if you need your space, if, like, if your girlfriend or I don't know, wants to go first for a walk, Yes. That's what I. What, it, sometimes I still do that. Like, if someone is really pissing me off or like really rude, I just like, okay, yeah. I leave the situation. In 10 minutes, I'm back and then let's mm -hmm. be, be quiet and talk about it in a nice way. And I 100% agree. But what I mean is that, like, when you go for a walk, you say, like, hey, there's something between us. I just want to go for a walk, clear my head, and then let's talk about it. That is so important because, for example, what a girlfriend of a friend of mine did, she just left at the house and he was asking like, hey, do you know where she is? And I was like, no, no. Oh, she left. And then he was like so worried for two hours. He drove his bicycle. He was almost calling the police and oh, yeah, I just went for a walk. You know, you know the two differences. First, telling you, hey, there's something between us. I want to clear my head. I go for a walk. I come back and we talk about it. The other person is like, who? Okay, yeah, okay, we're going to talk. I'm glad you addressed it, okay? And not just like disappearing or, or not saying something. Like always talk about it immediately and you don't need to have this big conversation, but, but addressing it like, hey, there's something between us. I address it now. So do you want to talk about it because I feel it? Or do you like, like immediately addressing uh, what I hate? And what I really don't like is, is not addressing it at all, but feeling it. I think it was because usually we do it. And that's the, I think usually th that's the reason why we don't get into this kind of like situations quite often. I think we know each other for like 
we spent a lot of time in the last couple of months together, like especially in Bali or something. And it doesn't happen really often compared to like other relationship relationships, other friendships. No, relationships. They're all oh, relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, other friendships. Um, because we spend so much time together doing the same stuff and like usually people, they have way more fights. Um and there was another person involved, so we couldn't talk. Like exactly, yeah, that I was the thing. I would never ever fight or discuss because I don't want I don't want to make someone else feeling uncomfortable. Exactly, and and it was yeah a bit about him. That's why I didn't want. That's why if he wouldn't be there, we would have figured it out immediately. That's why I was hoping like that Ramon would go to another floor and I could talk to you. Um, but you didn't anyways, but I know what you mean. We probably would have figured it out immediately and applied our rule that we talked about it immediately, but another person was around. But then let's just still do it like, hey, can we just uh, go to the other room and talk quickly for a second, something <laughs> like that. Um, but actually you say like with other people, you have to do way more. And that's why I love my friends. Because no, I don't have it way more. Okay, no, I mean that other people often yeah. have it way more. That's why I love my friends because really most of my friends m with like, for example, with Nico, I never had it in my life. With Benny, never in my life. With Philip, just once for like seven years of friendship. I only had like one of these moments once. But did you spend like really? Bro, he was my roommate. We, we did everything together. We were pooping with the door open. We were sleeping in the same room. Bro. We were so <laughs> close because we established this rule. Because of course there was something and we immediately talk about it. So we never, never let that happen. So um, that's that's. So that's why I wanna. That's why we established that now and uh, talk about it and um, and uh, yeah. So we 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 feel good because for me I just cannot shut it off. Like it's uh, I, I I I like you told me just that you can do that like in the gym that you don't. Do you honestly don't think I, about it? No. Yeah, really? I really don't think about it. I could go home now, meditate, and I don't think about it okay, anymore. Okay, for me I'm like the, I, on the way home I would just I would like enter the the the, the church. And be like 100%. Really? Yeah. Wow. In the moment right now, of course, like if I'm, cl I feel about it, but I'm so present in the moment. You're like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no, but like, no, yet. What, what's the point in like feeling bad? It was stupid on the way there and like it gets better and better, but you are completely right. The best way is to talk about mm -hmm. it immediately. And I'm a big fan of that. And okay. that's what I usually practice. Like, that's great. let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because my brain is completely different. I only think about it. That is like the main thing. And I cannot shut it up. It's like, if you, if you would leave to church and we wouldn't have talked the whole time, no matter what I do, really? it's, it's, it doesn't you get out. You know why? It doesn't because get I out. know if I come tomorrow, everything will be fine again. Tomorrow we'll wake up. And no, then... but then tomorrow we would have talked about it. Yeah, but then <laughs> and and I, I constantly because you know that that's that's human. We have this big frontal lobe which other animals don't have. We can think uh, um, we can think about the future and the past. And I know that we would talk about it. And I'm like, okay, how is this conversation? What did bother? And I'm like, overthink. My brain is like da 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 da, and really only about that. Like when you did the podcast, I was only thinking about that while while doing my my stuff. And that is something like I want to talk. That's why for me it is important to talk about it immediately because I'm like. It's, it's I'm like in a prison all the time that passes and that's why I don't enjoy the time, you know? So now we talk about it immediately and if you need time to think about it, we talk about like, hey, there's something and you're like, okay, yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. I want to clean my head and like, okay, so you go for a run and then, we, and then I know, okay, ah, oh, yeah, he knows it. I know and then we talk and then I'm fine, but not like the girlfriend from my friend that's just leaving and he was like panicking. And that is the thing, how bad it feels for the other person, you know, when you like have something in the air it just feels bad for both of them and for some like myself it feels horrible and that's why i always want to talk about it immediately because i'm such a positive loving energy ball and i'm that 99 percent of the time because i choose friends who i talk about it immediately and that rarely happens really and um that's why that's why i'm so happy you told me because it's all about honest communications i didn't know that it would impact you like that because my other friends it doesn't but i, I rarely have that anyways um, but now I know, okay, shit, yeah, you're right. Something could have happened. So next time I'm like, hey, good morning. And I honestly just ask you, like, just honest, why are you too late? And not from the get-go, like, 
you have to lay that. Yeah. Okay. And and I'm happy you told me that. That's but even though they just uh, it, the reason why I was so sad about it is just like someone who care about is talking to me in a way they like that in my eyes or like in my eyes is not respectful like even though i was too late don't look with me <laughs> that was like what um yeah that was just for me like okay i want to be serious because we're talking like 99 of the time have a good time so how can i be no, serious by be being serious, serious. I, yeah i mean i not, already know that it annoys you like i'm yeah. not a stupid idiot okay okay well, well maybe i am but anyways <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I think <laughs> I think it was great. Yeah, that people, 100%. Uh, like people see us on social media, especially if they watch our vlogs, they think like we are happy all of the time. And most of the time we are happy. I would never, ever, I'm not able to lie in front of the camera. Like if I feel bad, you will feel it while watching. But like on Instagram or somewhere where you just post pictures, people get confused. They think like all these influencers, they're happy all the time. I can tell you, most of them are sad most of the time. Mm -hmm. And that's why, that's why I was so happy because Ramon left. The first thing I said to Axel, hey, there's something between us. Do you want to not talk about it on a podcast? And he was like, yes. And I was like, yes, you are one of the most authentic guys I know because most people would be like, no, let's talk about that without cameras. But I'm so happy. Because we didn't talk about before that at all. We, we figured it out on the podcast, mm -hmm. showing people that uh, we're not perfect and we have the same flaws everyone has. Have. And um, that, was so, that was so real. Like we're showing the real side and I think people appreciate it a lot. And that was a great podcast. Yeah. I hope How people... long was it? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> 50 minutes? 50? Yeah. 40. 40? Wow. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like it's a waste of time if you have these discussions? Like, not like now, but like in your past relationships. The thing is, if they're reoccurring, reoccurring, yes. But we have this discussion now once and I think we never have it again because now we know. Mm -hmm. We remember that. In the worst case, we rewatch the podcast, but we remember <laughs> it and we talk about things immediately. But if it's something that always pops up again, then you, need, then you get tired of it. Of course, um, if we have this uh, discussion again, I'm already super tired of it. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, we talked about that. So... I love about talking about things once, making it clear, being super honest, taking your time, like 40 minutes now, really taking your time, no distractions, no phones, talking about it, figuring out, really being open and listen to the other from which place he's coming from and imagine how to, and then solve it and move on to bigger and better things. But don't come back to all the things again, like in a circle. That is something I get super tired of and it's uh, often relationships I don't want to be in. You feel the same? I agree. Or you want to talk about the same shit over and over again? <laughs> well, sometimes you have to talk about some... I mean, as I said, like, it will happen that I will be late at some point, 100%. Yeah, of course. But then, you know, we talk... The thing is, we talk about it immediately. And I, 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 um, you work better on it. And if I see you give your best and there's an excuse, I'm good. And I'm not like... I just ask you, hey, why are you too late? And you're like, hey, the police stopped me. And I was like, oh, okay. And it was a good excuse, you know? But, yeah. Like yesterday, the police stopped you and that was the perfect, that was a good excuse. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I mean, I don't care about the, 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 the excuse. Like, even if you would just tell me like, I'm late, I don't even care why you like, if, you know what I mean? You told me you were late, like, I think like a week ago. I don't care why, like, it, you, you know what, I'm not disrespectful, but it doesn't really influence me. Yeah. I mean, it, it always depends on the circumstance. Like, as I said, when we meet here and you're a bit late, most often, no problem. I can just work. But when it's like uh, some, somewhere yeah, where yeah, I'm just I, waiting I, for you I to go. You. And also when we're, like, what, when we're meeting with other friends and I know I wait for you and we go there and then I know I will be late too. I have this not good feeling and it's just something that is important to me. So it depends on the circumstance. Like when I'm at home or like when in the gym, like with my friends, we are in the gym at around nine. And it doesn't matter when you come because we do our own. So you, then it doesn't matter. Your schmankies are German. I'm Balinese. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm, I'm really working on it. Okay. Um, I like that. And we figure... I will just schedule it as a business meeting because business meetings are also... I'm always two minutes earlier. That's like I'm, I can't remember when I missed a business meeting or like where like late. That's how I see you respect me. Yeah, so you get a new, co a new color in my calendar. And then you see how nice it feels being on time when the other... I think... Uh, uh, 
because when because that's what I'm used to having friends that are on time and then you're on time and when when someone's not on time it's like yeah anyways um, I just want to say something but it's 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 beautiful that you that we communicate it because we human beings we have like different values like for me it doesn't it doesn't mean shit if you are late for like 15 minutes like Ramon yesterday I think he was late 20 minutes I just do something else I don't feel like waiting I never wait for people when was he late yesterday at the gym We waited for like 20 minutes. You know how long I waited? Yeah, I know even longer. And exactly. And that is the thing, like then half an hour. And no, it's I'm like, just sharing my personal, okay. like, I don't think about it. I just, like, I have so much work to do that I can do my, from my phone from anywhere that I don't wait or I listen to a book or I stretch or I'm just standing there and looking at trees. <laughs> I'm a schmunky. Okay. I'm like, respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. time is the most bad. and like what's the point of then making on time it's like oh let's be at three or four so i'm like okay let's be at four and then i will be there at four and then i'm like i'm ready to to do it. yeah and that's just you know and then comes back to respect like uh anyways yeah but you spend a lot of time in in asian countries there they're like oh this time and anyways um <laughs> for me time is just so important and for my life you know everything is on point and i just love like this uh, just like um I talked about something really interesting with Ramon in the podcast. It's like we are both not grateful in the moment for the things that we do, right? Like I wasn't grateful in the moment where you were like angry and you weren't grateful for for the things that I do for you in the moment where, where, where you were standing on the treadmill and like thinking, what did the, oh, I was about to say the word again. <laughs> what, a, what an idiot that he's so late because otherwise you wouldn't approach it that way like right now if i if i just wait for two hours i'm like okay maybe he has this weird like thing maybe he always wants to be right but there you have so many other beautiful character traits why should i focus on that one Ex exactly in this moment i just forget about like all the good things you know and if we can like work on that like really like getting perspective like it's only one thing Exactly. But that's why I already changed my attitude and I only was like that for a brief moment to let you know. But then I switched back to this happy mode. But you were staying in this like being weird to me mode and you kept you stretched this for a long time. And that's what I want that you uh, um, that you also adopted that if, even if there's something between us and we talk about it later that the time until we talk about it you're good, you focus on the positive stuff like I did, like when I did my backflips, I was like, I was so proud of myself. And, I, and, and usually if there wouldn't be something between us, we were like, oh, cool, good job. I'm proud of you. And like nothing, you know, and I knew that is not the normal answer. So the, you, you stretched that feeling out of not loving for a long time. And I just had it for a brief moment. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to make a point and then I switched. And I always switch because I, I don't hold crutches at all. Even if there's something between us, I don't hold crutches. I want to enjoy time and you just stretch it out. So please talk about it immediately and then don't hold crutches. Like focus on the positive stuff. Like when we're at the gym, smiling and don't be like this. That, that, that. Because I know you. I know you were different. I know it. The, the whole yeah, 100%. Time. I was just... And I, you, you were stretching that out. And I was just I for was the moment. So for you, we are humans. We both have different ways to, to handle things. Like in the moment, I told you, I, I'm at the gym. I don't freaking care. I'm at the gym. But I know how you usually are at the gym. Yeah. Depends what, like, red, red. Of course, I have a different, I told you, like, people feel it. But I just, like, I'm, I'm not thinking at all. I'm just training. And then it even, like, annoys me for, like, okay, now you, like, you want to film stuff during my workout, which is usually fine. But, like, right now, I'm, it's even more important for me to move, to change, to, I always say, motion creates emotion. And I was really, like, just want to be in the moment and like working out. So uh, it was not my intention to stretch something out. But I think we talked about it now and I feel no, really... Two, huh? two more hours. Huh? <laughs> two more hours. Two more hours. No, yeah, you're Relationship right. talk with Max and Fenner. Can we just talk? talk? Can we just talk? Okay. Yeah. So I think now we need to hug each other. And then... You smell, right? Yeah, you do. That's all right. I love you anyways. Wait, we need for five more seconds because then it's gay. Okay. Oh, you know what? I got another, um, you know, I have a lot of gay followers, which I love. And they often send me like nudes. Mm -hmm. 
I just got another one. You want to see it? I don't know. No, it's just, it's just, it's like a super sad. It's just an ass here, mm -hmm. his ass cheek. And um, like here, his ass again. And there was, yeah, I asked one more time. Nice, right? <laughs> Nice so folks. I get way more uh, oh, yeah. uh, dick, <laughs> dick pics, dick pics than many chicks get. Wow, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten a dick pic on Instagram? No, no. Don't send me. So to all my lovely no. gay followers who send me dick pics, I appreciate them. Um, now it's time that you send a couple to Axel. <laughs> Usually girls send me stuff like that. Now you know when I got, that happens daily. That what? On Instagram that you get that I get like nudes. But daily. No, you're exaggerating. Maybe not I'm daily. I got, I got Wait, at least like four times per week. Really? So, yeah. I get like one every two weeks. Yeah. No, ask you why. But, but, <laughs> but nudes, nudes. Or what is a nude for you? Like there was, was that a nude for you? The, the, on the one you saw the ass cheek. Yeah. The other one was that a nude? Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. nice. Have you? So have you gotten a, a yoni? No, 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 no. I got I, a couple. I, <laughs> I honestly I got a couple like oh and they, uh, and they told me like what do you want me to do and I do every and they yeah oh. I actually I, oh, th that's what I get like every two weeks I, I thought you talk about that like no okay yeah just like girls in bikinis I also get that often yeah okay you need okay if you're a girl no no, no, no. I, I mean I love that I love no, that no send them all to Ferdinand I'm good I don't need that stuff but you know what I also don't watch porn so maybe that's like <laughs> You know what? When I got the first dick pic, I was eating, and it was a video, <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> it was like, yeah, um, and I was like, Ooh. and now when I open videos of anything, I'm like putting my phone like this, <laughs> make sure I don't eat, and open it, and most of the time it's just like food or something. But like every week, there are a couple of dick pics. So uh, yeah. Anyways, that's Instagram, and I enjoy it. So enjoy. thank you so much for listening to another episode of the V Games. Oh, that was such a great podcast. So now we're gonna rock the vlog. Yeah, I haven't really vlogged. Positive energy now? Yep. Yeah. And now we could do the water challenge because now I'm in a happy mood. Okay, let's do the water challenge. That's how you turn a bad moment into a good moment. Because it's, vegan savages and schmunkies don't have bad days, only bad moments. That's but they, at the end of the day, have great days unless something really devastating happens. Like, but that's Someone like. Someone has to die. But even then, I think. Yeah, I'll, but it's like. When your mom dies, for example, or your dad. When I, I remember when my grandma died mm -hmm. and I loved her. It took me like six, seven hours till I was laughing again. Because I know she loved me so much and she wants mm -hmm. me to be happy. Yeah. It took for like weeks that it, like every single day was like a little bit, I, I'm missing her. Um, I agree anyway. 99% of the time, but I'm, sh I'm sure there's just the moments like if, yeah, if, if you lose if your I would child die, or If something. I would die. Like, yeah. If you would die, for me, I would just cry. <laughs> I, that couldn't be a good day. I, I cannot imagine it. I was just, no matter what I do, that constantly comes up and I would just be devastated. But that is like 1% of the things. Mm -hmm. Like if, a bike, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Oh, like yeah. for 99%, things don't matter. What you, you make out of mosquitoes, big elephants, see things in perspective that we're floating on a giant spaceship called Earth around the sun and the sun and the Earth is coming closer to, no, I mean the, the Earth is coming closer to the sun and uh, it's only around for a couple more millions or billions of years and then it's all back to stardust. That's where we all, all came from. That's where we all go back. Everything is changing. Everything is temporary. That's why time is so precious. That's why enjoy life to the fullest and if there's something between you, talk about it. Honest, true, communications with everyone and then you actually see who are true friends like Axel could be right now that we talk for like an hour like oh I don't respect you I don't respect your time then I would know hey he's not a not a friend but now I know hey he's a true friend so I know what I that what I have and I'm and that's why all about honest communications and that you know who are true friends who are just fair weather friends and you can drop them and it's unexpected like bird shit so I um, don't know where I'm going with this friend. So thank you so much for listening. Until next time, peace. Eat your chickpeas. At. At.